Do you want to take your company from being an absolute fan favorite on the internet to becoming the root of all evil and corrupted by evil money? Well, then just follow in the footsteps of OpenAI, the company behind the super popular DALI 2 photo generating AI, which if you have spent any time on the internet recently, you've probably heard of by now, or at the very least, you heard of its little brother DALI Mini, or rather its adopted and more popular brother that the original brother doesn't want to have anything to do with. Yeah, DALI 2 doesn't actually have anything to do with DALI Mini, they just have a similar name. I don't have any less nerdy example, but it's like JavaScript, which has nothing to do with Java. Or how does nothing artistic in games by Electronic Arts, for example. That has actually led to the creators of DALI 2 actually threatening the creator of DALI Mini to change the name of the project. And I guess OpenAI don't want to have their AI confused with this other AI. There's going to be a lot of uses of the word AI in this video, so uh, try to keep up. But it's just one of many questionable decisions that OpenAI have taken in recent months to have really soured the people's opinion of them. Because ironically, there's nothing really open about OpenAI anymore. The company originally started out by creating pretty open AI, and in fact they also use a lot of open source projects as well to build up their own projects. But then something happened. They became successful. Not only that, but they apparently took it upon themselves to be the arbiters of justice and decide who can use the AI or not, and who can use it responsibly. So at the end of the day, there's like nothing open about OpenAI anymore. Their software isn't even open source, and DALI 2 right now is only open to a very select few people, most of which just so happen to have a large social media following. The reason most people know of DALI 2 right now is because of its presence on social media, and everyone has been excited to get their hands on it. So they were pretty disappointed to find out that OpenAI are at the gates just letting a select few people through because they think their AI is just so great that people cannot be trusted with it. Which is pretty much the most egotistical thing a company can do, but whatever. Now as is pretty common in human history at this point, whenever something successful comes along that is only restricted to a select few at the very top, then imitators quickly show up to try and give it out to the rest of the populace. And in this case, Boris Daimer came along and created DALL-E Mini, a project inspired by DALL-E 2, and that's about all they have in common. And DALL-E Mini quickly shown what exactly happens when you give the power of AI to the people. Ah. <sighs> I love the internet. So clearly OpenAI's concerns about people not using their AI responsibly may have been warranted, but at the same time, it's the internet, what do you expect? You give the internet any tool, and by the end of the day, they will figure out how to combine it with memes, war crimes, and rule 34. That's just how the internet works. And let's be honest, it was going to happen eventually. If OpenAI ever opened the floodgates for DALI 2, the exact same thing would happen. Even if the quality of DALI Mini's images is pretty poor, let's be honest, these aren't definitely photorealistic or of any use, especially because of the super low resolution, that doesn't matter. It was just so liberating and fun to use that it literally became a huge meme on the internet for quite a few days. So as you can imagine, people having so much freedom to do whatever they want with a piece of AI didn't really sit well with OpenAI, because they didn't want to have their AI associated with, well, stuff like this. And that of course brings us back to the original issue. Did Boris Daimler have the right to use the word DALI in his AI's name? I mean, legally, technically, he probably had the right, but let's be honest, the OpenAI guys would never be happy with anyone else using the name DALI for any other purpose, which is understandable. But if DALI Mini wasn't called DALI Mini, then DALI Mini wouldn't have never become such a huge hit online that has become today. And all it has done is expose exactly what DALI 2 is doing. So I guess at the end of the day, it's still up to people like Boris Damon to provide us with a good alternative until OpenAI actually become, you know, more open. And now all I can do is hope that they still give me access to DALI 2 even after I made this critical video on them. But anyway, let me know what you think of this entire situation down in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think of this entire DALI 2 versus DALI mini battle and all the other fishy stuff that OpenAI have been doing recently. And hey, while you're here, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help me make more in the future, then the best way to ensure that that will happen is to support us on Patreon. Because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Woolcroft, Lance B, 
Bee and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much for the tree goes a long way. Then you're also gonna find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.